<laughs> but what I did, I took my greenhouse that I have no use for. I paid 69, I'm like $70 for this thing. So I'm gonna use it for something. I took it and stringed it up. Ew. All around. And if I do need more room, which I think I'm going to have to get some more room, I'm just gonna get one of these trellises right here and just add it on to here and just let it go ahead on, on. well y'all i don't know if it's gonna stand up to the weight of it but we shall find out hello 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 everybody welcome back to perfectly imperfect gardening and i'm tanya today i want to do a little update with you guys sorry about the background because they working on our roads and everything over there but I want to show you guys the update on my red passion fruit. I put it on one of those old garden kits. And I told you guys I was going to let you know if it worked or not. So I'm going to give you a little update on that also. I'm trying to get some of that glare out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give you a little update on that also. So sit back, relax, and it's going to be short but sweet. Let's go. Okay, it's like the truck for the leaves, so that's good. Okay, guys, this right here is that greenhouse kit that I had showed you guys. Y'all go check out that video. But the red passion fruit, guys, look. They are already filling this thing up. Loaded. With red passion fruit up under here. It's weakening right here. Once these, because these are huge. These are not like the purple and the yellow passion fruit. They are way bigger than the purple and the yellow passion fruit. And they still flowering. Oops, sorry guys, I'm getting all caught up, up under here. They are still flowering. Some just closed up right here. I hear bees buzzing all around my ear, all around my head. Yeah, they all closed, but hopefully those will become some passion fruit. But they're hanging all here. Nice size. Let's walk around. See how it collapsed in the middle right here? All that collapsed in there. But that's still good. It's still holding up good enough until this season over with. Then I'll put it on a, another trailer. Look how big this is. Purple and yellow passion fruit get about this big. And these is still growing. And they're heavy. The other ones, they're more lighter. These are solid. This one right here look like it's getting a little blush to it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that right now on camera. Probably still a little green. But I am so happy with this. Let's see. How pretty that is. That one 
one just got pollinated. Need to re. Okay. Piled up on top of each other here. Try to make them stick down. Underneath, and I could pick them better and easier that way. But see, they just like sitting up. Once they get a little heavier, I'll push that down. My passion fruit, the one in the back, the red passion fruit in the back, is not. I'm gonna go check again, but it isn't doing anything like this. I guess because this nice sun. Let me go check the one in the back. We're gonna take you guys to the back. Y'all take a look at this beautiful Guka Villa, how it's blooming. Taking over this whole part, we're finna cut it back. But look how beautiful that is becoming. Well, half became. <laughs> so let's get to the back. Let me show you guys. Let's get through here. coleus is right here so pretty y'all so pretty that jasmine over here is blooming sorry y'all not jasmine this is the pink trumpet vine hummingbirds love this so beautiful oh this passion fruit is smelling it's one that's blooming i see some buds but it's one open on here. Definitely open. Oh, there it go. See, this is the giant passion fruit flower right here. Oh, they stuck together. How are they, how did, first time this happened. Hold on one second, guys. It is, oh, it just mighty close like that. Look at that. Another one. That beautiful red, that purple, some pinks. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. smells so good so this is the giant passion fruit and this when you first walk in let me turn this way so you can see this for when you first walk into the back of the garden and this is the red passion fruit over here And this one is the red passion fruit. The other one. The bleeding heart vine. It's trying to take over it. Don't got up in here. But no flowers, no buds, no nothing. Now let's go see my babies. I haven't seen, y'all probably haven't seen them in a minute. This right here is some lattice and some collard greens that I have in here. Look how big they done got y'all. Puff Puff back there. <laughs> Look how cute she is. All white. She is so pretty. 
Get that brown. So pretty. It don't knock over the water. One of the waters. I put multiple, multiple of everything. This back here is my other passion fruit. Some lattice right here. They grow so fast. Let me see if they flowering. They're not flowering or anything yet. Still look green unless it's a yellow. That right there, y'all, tell y'all how important good sunlight is to these fruit trees. When these, when the ones up front get ready, y'all, let me give y'all another look. Okay, guys, this right here is that greenhouse kit that I had showed you guys. The red passion fruit, guys, look, they are already filling this thing up. So when these bad babies right here get ready, I will be doing a taste test on them because I never had red passion fruit before or anything like that. So make sure you have that. I love you guys and I'm going to see you later. <laughs>